Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading today, which I'm not going to lie to you. I had no intention of doing a pick a card reading today. I was actually going to do an overarching message for the general collective. However, as I was shuffling the cards, I naturally found myself kind of setting them up for a pick a card reading. So as you can see, there's three piles here. What I was led to share with you guys is messages of comfort. And to support that energy, I have two piles of Pussy Willow that are on each side of this reading. And I just love their energy. I was really drawn to it. It's very soft. It's very cute. Um, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you allow yourself to resonate with whatever pile works best for you. Um, or if there's more than one reading or, or pile that you are drawn to, that's fine too, okay? The time stamps will be timestamps will be listed in the description box and I will meet you at your pile. All right, my loves, the first message that I'm getting for you has a lot to do with um, comfort, big time comfort. And of course, that's the overarching message and theme of today's reading, but I feel like there's this emphasis on how you feel comforted or your ability to comfort others. This is someone who is there for a lot of people, understands a lot of people and sees themselves in a lot of people, especially when they're struggling or disappointed or just working really hard or whatever the case is you see yourself in other people so it makes it quick and easy for you to comfort others and it, something about comforting them and seeing similarities within them helps comfort you ultimately so spirit wants to recognize the fact that that has been almost not a saving grace but that's a tool in your toolbox that you have used so far in your experience or it's a tool in your toolbox that you can use to help yourself in the future or in this moment right now. So pay attention to how you comfort others or the ways that it is that you feel naturally drawn to comfort others and consider giving yourself a little extra heaps and doses of that. And then also I'm getting this strong message that consider the way that you comfort others and then call out to the universe for that to be reciprocated in different ways. So um, there's definitely that message here. Let's go ahead and look at, yeah, wisdom. You have the, from this um, vintage wisdom oracle card, the first card that jumps out for you is the card of wisdom. This is giving me Jupiter energy, so I wouldn't be surprised if you have significant uh, Jupiter transits um, it happening in your chart, or if you, you might be Sagittarian in nature. That's something that's really standing out to me. Or Jupiter's, the planet Jupiter wants to lend to you its wisdom or the gifts of wisdom. Some of you guys need a little extra time to ponder things. Some of you guys might be more in, interested and invest in, investing in knowledge education, reading books, this energy is coming across very quiet. In fact, I'm almost getting a sense that you are a naturally quiet person that has very deep layers to you. You're not someone who opens up very quickly. I'm getting the strong sense of the word authenticity is coming forward for you. That's something that um, Spirit says is very striking about your character is that you stay very close to what feels authentic to you. Sometimes this can separate you, I don't wanna say from others, like or separate you from others. Sometimes it can make, it's almost like your understanding of other people, but there might be not 
they might not be as understanding of you. But a lot of people may go to you for wisdom and spirit wants to comfort you by giving you additional quiet time or comfort time just to fill your cup more and to make sure that things are balanced in your life to give your 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 mental your mentality i don't know why that's something that's coming through but your mental space a lot of peace so that your mentality is peaceful i hope that makes sense some of you guys i don't know why i just feel like touching this crystal here but there's this emphasis on ground oh my gosh my purse is just sitting outside <laughs> Um, there's this emphasis on grounding and centering yourself and stabilizing yourself and being still. Spirit also wants to comfort you and give you clarification that if there's anything that feels incomplete or like there's a void, Spirit wants to naturally confirm that they're going to start filling that space in for you with something significant and of value. So if you have already had um, like a transition in your life where there are these empty pockets or these empty spaces in your life, they were there to serve the purpose of clearing more room for things of a different value and a different quality to come in. And nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a higher quality and a higher value, something that is more significant, especially as you're starting to discover and rediscover certain aspects of yourself. And a lot of that I'm seeing is through the quiet time. There's a wisdom that has been um, naturally coming to you, not in talking. It's almost like you're discovering a lot about yourself. I'm also hearing you're discovering a lot about your ancestry and I'm getting a vision. Some of you guys might have been inspired by a vision of a well or it could be something like you're watching a movie of a well and something about that is striking to you. It's because it's a reflection of a past life. Um, also, it reminds you of like mundane tasks that give your, your day to day existence like meaning. There's this really strong sense of um, community development here that you're gonna be getting called into in the future. Um, Spirit is specifically talking about community development. So this give and take that you're learning right now and this wisdom that you are, I don't wanna say achieving, but again, achieving that, you're, that you've achieved or that you're, you, you were striving for, whether you knew it or not, is gonna serve this greater purpose of this sense of community and sense of what I contribute helps the general public. The next card, yeah, we have a leg up, see? It's like your ability to help others and how you helping others helps you in a way. A leg up is the card of I help you, you help me. I'm gonna help you get there. There's this message and spirit really wants to let you know that you've been helping other people or you have the desire to and they're gonna help you help other people but they're also going to put people in place to help you to help yourself. Wow. Wow, you guys, I cannot make this up. Wolf spirit family. I love how intuition works. Oh, you guys are also the ones who, when I shuffled, only one tarot card wanted to come out. And I was like, uh, you know, do I want to leave it at that? You know, and then I just, I was like, no, just trust your judgment. So I have no idea what this card is. I'm very excited to turn it over. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You're the person that has, that people know to go to, that your energy is stable or stabilizing them. Even if you're a fire sign, even if you're air, even if you're water, there's something about you that stabilizes them, stabilizes other people. They come to you as, they, they see you as a carrier of, of wisdom, a carrier of truth and a safe space for them to go to. And spirit right now wants to comfort you because they see you. Spirit wants you to know that your community or the people around you see the value in you. And they want you to know that the more that you are actually 
giving to yourself and grounding yourself, it helps you to feel better and, and the good that you always find yourself doing. Queen of Pentacles speaks for herself. She's solid. She's consistent. She's reliable. I'm also getting a strong sense of practicality coming from this Queen of Pentacles card, like truly radiating from her. And it's not that she doesn't need or want anything. It's that she's okay with what she has now. And she's quick to stretch what she has and make it last. So there might be a sense of practicality um, that Spirit wants to confirm for you and to trust the fact that you might be wanting to shut down expenses, you know? I don't know why that's coming through. Or investments, that if you are someone who's had an eye on investing or investing in the future, investing for the, com the community or investing, investing for your family, these are things that are going to pay off in your, in your favor and to continue forward with them, knowing that this, that you may be the only one with the blueprint, you know? So if you're the one with the blueprint, then you're the one who has to delegate and you're the one who will need to tell people, I need you to do this. I need you to come over here. I need you to do this because this is what we're building together as a community, as a collective. I'm also seeing a lot of group exercises here. Something about aerial yoga is coming through, believe it or not getting like into your body and bending in different places and doing different things helps to awaken some stagnant energy or blockages, like ener energetic blockages within your own bodies, mind, body, soul, spirit. So it starts to flow to you a little more and spirit definitely wants that for you, okay? So my loves, I hope this reading resonates with you as pretty quick precise and to the point but again I, I really truly am setting intention that it comforted you in the way that it needed to spirit really wants to say that you're doing a great job and um I'll take it you know what I mean <laughs> I'll take it all right if you need me I'll be in Bahati Life Apothecary at, on at BahatiLife.com working my magic until then I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one bye hello my loves welcome back so this is Pile number two. I do not know what oracle cards are here. I'm going to be channeling my messages. And uh, yeah, the, the message that we were asking Spirit about is, what messages of comfort do you need to hear right now? Pile number three just fell. So <laughs> you guys might need to uh, listen to pile number three, even though I haven't done it yet. But I have them off to the side and they just fell over. So, all right. First card, two cards. I'm gonna start with this one, the reverse. We have kindred spirits, interesting. Interesting, then we have compassion. Right away, uh, Spirit wants to talk about, some of you guys might be feeling like an oddball or you might be having a difficult time connecting with others, finding a like-minded soul or uh, solar spirits, more than one, or maybe one person in particular. Some of you guys might be having some conflict going on in your family or your friend circle. There might be, there's the, a chance for drama. Spirit wants to comfort you and let you know, and specifically I'm hearing this too shall pass. I don't know why, but spirit wants to remind you that sometimes people are natural. And as I say that, one pelican flew over by itself. And then as I said that, a whole flight of sparrows just went, flew that way. And there's one right behind. So this is showing me right away, guys. You guys are feeling like you might be like the lone wolf. You might not have found your community or there might be conflict in the community or you might feel like, You've had to go it alone or the, the people, the places that you'd normally hang out with, for whatever reason, they might be gone. You might be disconnected from them. Spirit, I don't know why, but Spirit is saying an emphasis on, on this message, this too shall pass. And whenever you feel like you're alone or isolated or that things aren't working out or that you don't have a friendship, friendships or that there's something going on in those friendships or even sisterhood, 
or with your siblings, this too shall pass. This is going to be temporary. It's not going to be forever. It's not going to be forever. The, you're clearly in a period of transition when it comes to your more intimate connections. This is not a pile that has drama internally. If it is internal, it's because or if you feel like it's internal, it's because you just feel like, is it me? Did I do something? Am I an oddball? Why do I stand out? Or you may have a whole group of people around you and something about the old friendships or the old things that you used to do and the people that you used to do those things with, it just doesn't doesn't strike you anymore. There's something about disconnecting from the, the, the general sense of others and being one with that community. Some of you guys have really grown a lot and your old friends or the old people or this old family, you know, it. they may not have grown in the same way or they might not have grown at all. This too shall pass. Spirit wants to remind you something that it is that you already know that your growth doesn't make you any better than other people and them staying in the same spot that they want to stay in doesn't make them any better or less than you but it does sometimes make it uncomfortable because you know that you're doing the right thing you know that you know it's good what you're doing you know that there might not be anything wrong with you but you still naturally grieve the fact that it's not what it was or it's not what you want it to be and at the end of the day, all you want is to find someone very similar to you and this too shall pass. It's going to pass. There will be friendship. There will be connection. There will be union. That empty spot or that, that space that you're desiring to be fulfilled in your life or to be filled in your life will be filled. Give it time. This too shall pass. <laughs> so let's see what else we have here. Wow, peace. I know that for a lot of you guys, when you see the word peace, the first thing that comes to your mind is surrender. And spirit is, is does, does want you to quote unquote surrender, but surrendering does not mean letting go of the desire or the need that is natural within you to want to have companionship or union or friendship or community or a sense that of belonging. Spirit is referring to the idea of peace and surrender in the form of you quote unquote letting go of this does not mean that it's going to be abandoned or that it's not going to resurface for you or, or some in some way or surface for you in some way. It just means that it kind of gives you the space to kind of feel your feelings and to have hopes for the future and to have hopes for relationships if there's something that you're in right now that might have some conflict. And just allowing your hands to kind of fall off of it and to allow it to be what it is allows this situation to pass faster than if you're more, if not mourning, but if you're holding on to it and trying to over exert energy to make something happen and that's the thing too some of you guys you you're a, a message to comfort you right now is that make spirit wants to encourage you that you can make peace with the idea that certain friendships and connections will feel effortless and that will occur like this will occur for you I'm also hearing to make peace and and have comfort in the choices that you've made thus far when it comes to friendships and connections and union and relationships. If there's someone who has passed on and left a void in, in your heart and a void in your space, they're giving you the peace and they're giving you confirmation that it is okay to not move on from that relationship but um, to have something similar enter your life, re-enter your life once again in a different package and that the person 
that was your kindred spirit, that was your soulmate, that was your true love, still is going to be present with you in that. And there's no, no shade, <laughs> you know, no shady. What else do we have here? Yeah, clean it up, reversed. Some of, I don't, well, let me sit with this for a second because I just received a download and I lost it because I was thinking something else. Spirit wants to tell this group to comfort you. Um, you don't need to change. For those of you guys that feel like you need to change who you are, you don't need to change anything about you. You don't need to, if you're putting yourself out there and venturing out to meet like-minded souls and spirits, you don't need to put on a brave face or change anything about yourself to make people like you more than they will or won't. In fact, that is actually how you find your kindred spirit by just being your messy, totally authentic self. Because that person recognizes, oh my God, she's just like me. For example, I was in Trader Joe's earlier today and there was this girl who was on the phone and I, I had my cart filled with my groceries and these flowers and um, I looked over at her. I don't know. My energy just felt drawn to like look over at her. I just could feel like she wasn't okay. And um, she was like my age and she was on the phone and she just looked so confused and I didn't want to stare at her for too long. Um, but I was just like, all right, like clearly there's something going on over there. Like it wasn't bad or anything, but it just stood out to me. I could feel someone needed help. And then like two seconds later, you know how Trader Joe's is. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Trader Joe's. It's hard to know which line is which. And um, I was standing in my line. She was like, am I, am I, she asked me, she's like, am I, do I stand in this line or do I stand in this line? Like, I don't know. Is this the, the line that you're in right now? Does it go into those two things? And then they tell you, blah, blah. like, I can just see like all the, duh, 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 and the anxiety. And it seems so simple, you know, like probably in her head. And I, I know a lot of you guys might've been there before where you're just like, oh my God, it's not that serious. They probably think I'm fucking crazy, but it's relatable so relatable I, I could feel her anxiety at such a simple question as far as like okay I hope she doesn't think that I'm you know staring at her but like I don't fucking know what to do but I also don't want her to think that I'm trying to cut in front of her you know I could just see that how the, the discomfort it was clear I could feel it I could see it and I was just like I was like girl <laughs> and when she asked I could see like the me and you don't know like some people might have social anxiety so it could some like a simple question might be really hard for someone to say that and I, I understand that too I totally get it so I just felt with her and I just you know I answered the question we were just kind of like laughing about it and I was like don't feel bad like it is kind of confusing <laughs> it is confusing you know and I just she her energy totally relaxed but I say that to say that you don't need to clean up anything any part of yourself that doesn't that you wouldn't normally change about yourself in order to, you know, make friends, find people, find that like-minded soul spirit. Let's see what else we got here. Yep, growth, toadstools growth. This is really, I see that you are going to be, spirit wants to comfort you and let you know that you are going to be finding like-minded souls and spirits that are awakening at the same time as you. And this is why certain things, certain relationships and connections serve their time this goes into something as quick and easy to explain like a friendship that breaks off or you guys break away from each other because you are growing in different paths for now and it also goes as deep as those who have had really significant relationships with people who are living then they pass and then you their growth here on earth changes and shifts because they're no longer having the human experience they've now entered the spiritual world so it's not that they've abandoned you it's that they are their time is to grow in a different direction something that is not your time to do you still have time left on earth so this is going to be comfort for all of you guys hopefully that even if you did lose someone like their physical existence is no longer here on earth just know that they are growing in the spiritual realm, that they are growing in the spiritual territories. 
and that you are too similar, similar to that. However, you still have human experience to live here on earth. And that this person, whoever it is, gives you encouragement and even is going to help you along to find a person. See, these the birds are coming back over again and they're all calling out to each other. You're going to find the people that you can call out to and talk to about your spiritual growth right now. And spirit wants to comfort you in that. All right, so these are the tarot, mermaid tarot here. We have the world card. We have three of wands. Both of these cards are reversed. We have the hermit card and we have two of cups reversed. So right away again, I'm, I'm definitely getting this strong sense of disconnection, um, isolation, and then the desire to come together with a sense of community or to find your place in this world or find your people in this world. And spirit is saying, this too shall pass. You will, this too shall pass. And you, if you build it, they will come. If you put it out there, you will attract. If you, Matt, if you talk about it, it will happen. Don't give up and don't change anything about yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you're an oddball, stay odd <laughs> because there's people out there that really vibe with that. And you would be surprised that when people meet you, I'll say this too, from my own experience, that some people they when they meet when they before they meet me they think one certain way of this is how she must be and then they, when they meet me they they find out like oh she's actually a goofball or she's sensitive or whatever the case is that the, whatever they re have this revelation about so the people that you think may be so different from you you would be surprised how much you have in common with them and again like i'm like i happened before there's a flock of birds flying over this way so you will find your tribe you will find your 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 tribe your soul tribe your people or your person all right guys i hope this reading did comfort you and met you with perfect divine timing this again was that pile that might have need to listen to pile number three so i'm gonna get that started shortly but um, thank you again for hanging out with me and receiving this message. Thank you to Spirit for delivering the message. If you guys need me, you can find me in Bahati Life Apothecary, working my magic per usual at bahatilife.com. Until then, I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome back. So this is pile number three. And um, basically, I don't know what these oracle cards are going to say. They are pre-shuffled, but I have not seen them. We're going to just vibe with that. And these are going to be messages from spirits. So I invite you to keep your energy open. And let's go ahead and see what is up. Discernment. Very, very interesting. Protection reversed. Surrender reversed. So it's very, very interesting because... Pile number two got the message of surrender. And also during pile number two's reading at the very beginning, your pile, pile number three, the cards fell. And I felt really called to tell them to check out this reading and listen to it. And I'm seeing a connection between the two. I'm also seeing the message of surrender showing up here. So in a very similar message to pile number two, however, it's different. Spirit is, is wants to comfort you and let you know that they are protecting you. I'm also hearing, as I was saying the word protection, I heard the word callous. Um, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I hear specific words in the English language usually um, that I know what they mean sometimes usually, but, um, but I go down and look at the definition of it and the definition itself gives more to the intuitive message and there was a reason why spirit chose that word in particular. So the word is callous. And I'm also hearing decalcify. So spirit wants to comfort you and let you know that as they, as your third eye crown chakra is being opened, awakened, decalcified or strengthened in some way, they're also wanting to protect you from energies that would be detrimental to that growth and also detrimental to you. 
if you've had to enter into a season recently where certain people and things have been pulled out of your life or certain things were drawn into your perspective that you then had a certain level of understanding like I have to try something new here or I have to do something different because this may be working out but something doesn't feel right spirit gives you comfort and says you're not mistaken I'm sitting with the surrender card a little bit more here. The first thing that I want to say is that there's something that you've had to let go of, but spirit doesn't want to talk about what was discarded or what had to let go of. Spirit wants to talk about what is growing right now. There's more emphasis on what is growing and what is fertile and what is fruitful than what wasn't. So spirit wants to comfort you and let you know, I don't wanna say the power of positivity, but the fact that positivity is powerful around you right now. Spirit wants to comfort you and let you know that any changes moving forward into the future specifically for this pile will not be drastic or chaotic, it will be subtle. And because it's subtle, it's something that you'll be able to manage. Some of you guys have mishandled some things in the past, meaning like things have happened really fast and you use your intuition, but you're moving so quickly that certain things might have been, I don't know why Spirit is saying like burnt in the fire and Spirit is saying, that's not something that we're gonna repeat for you. Some of you guys feel like you may have failed a test in life or had bad karma or bad luck. And spirit wants to comfort you and say that that is not the case. That everything kind of will teach you something, you know? If something, something is to be gained from it or something is to be learned from this. I'm getting this really strong sense about talking about um, um, routine. Um, I'm seeing this big time as altar, like altar building, going back to your, going back and doing like altar work, burning candles, protecting your energy. Spirit wants to comfort you and say that as soon as you call out to me, for protection, you are protected. If you feel like there's something that is trying to catch you off guard, all you have to do is say the word and it will be cross canceled belief. Have comfort and know that some praying or setting intention is powerful all by itself. It will block what people say about you. It will block what people see or that they're fact, the fact that they're trying to pry in. It'll block the things that you hear, it will literally protect you from absorbing or or something or someone wanting to absorb you. I'm seeing this emphasis on crystals, specifically green crystals, and I just heard green moss agate crystal. Um, can If someone can, can you let me know down in the description box, or I'm sorry, down in the comments, what that crystal represents for you? Spirit is um, saying that there was a time in a place, this is a very specific message for someone, but there was a time in a place where before all of this happened, whatever this is for you, what, before all of this happened, you used to go for walks, like really long walks in the woods or at a, on, along a trail. I don't know why it's, I'm specifically seeing like a trail. It doesn't have to be a dirt trail. I could, I'm actually seeing like it's possible that it's cement and you walked along it and that was the first start of your spiritual journey or that was the first start of finding yourself and go back to that. It's almost like going back to the basics, going back to the bare minimum is going to help with the crown chakra and the, the third eye, something about that activates it for you because it's not all the extra stuff. 
remember a time when you were spiritually innocent and you were spiritually naive and all you had was prayer? <laughs> Go back to that. I'm ready to, yeah, deep knowing. Time for a nap, exactly. So some of you guys, okay, I was gonna say something, but I'm gonna pause because Spirit says that in the, the quiet times and in this downtime, you, this is gonna be decal, I don't know. It's like your, your third eye and your crown chakra is being cleansed out. So there might be something that Spirit is going to guide you to know what foods to eat, what things to, to listen to, what music to listen to. Be very mindful about social media, your social media usage, share a little less. Spirit wants to comfort you and let you know that if that's something that you've been feeling lately, like walking away from or pulling away from, that that is supremely valid. Spirit wants to comfort you and say, look, even as, as we're looking at this, we have the moon with its eyes shut, the owl with its eyes shut, these guys with their eyes shut. There's this message of, you actually do know what to do, but even if you do or don't know what to do, or if you need extra confirmation, you don't need to rush to get to that answer, you can rest. And in that rest, it'll fall on you. It'll start to settle on you. It's like someone who says, you know, Jess, I have three days to choose a major in my university and I'm stuck between anthropology or mathematics. And everybody in the school is saying, you need to make a choice and decision right now. And you know within your intuition that in order for you to feel confirmed, like to know, you may know the right decision, but you, you want to have that, you desire to have the sense of confirmation deep within your spirit that says, I know without a fraction of a doubt and I that this is the right decision for me and I can say this with peace in my heart and mind and soul and spirit. Spirit wants to comfort you and say that any choice and decision that you may be considering right now or any path that you may be led to take right now will be answered in a very simple way and it'll be a quiet answer and then you will know. Wow, wow guys, Forest Temple enlightenment exactly i cannot make this up there's this path i I'm, I'm truly i don't know if i said this before when i was talking to you guys about this paved path but it's like going through the woods or going through trees or something it's a path that you used to take and it would just give you it was like the beginning of your enlightenment journey there you don't necessarily need to go back to that same spot but you can mimic it wherever you are right now in order to give yourself a sense of enlightenment because there was something about the act of not having your phone on you, not having someone be able to call you all the time. There was a time before the inter internet was even popular like that where you, you, were, you couldn't be touched. Spirit wants to comfort you and say, this could be good for you right now is to take a little hiatus away from social media stuff or from the world or the noise and just go for a walk with no ulterior motive other than I just want to see I just want to walk I just want to connect with the fresh air and this moment that I have is all that I have and I don't have to make any choices and decisions no matter how many people are rushing me or no matter how many people want to modernize me or work with me or do this with me at the end of the day I could go for a walk. The forest is my temple. I'll go back to my own um, path. I'll share this with you guys. I remember this message actually resonates with me because in the start, one of the, the very beginning of my spiritual path, well, I wouldn't say very beginning, but in the meat of it, when the meat of the beginning of it, if that makes any sense, I actually stayed buku a lot of time out in the woods. I was pretty much living in the woods. Um, you would never know that by looking at me now, but there was a time I, and I remember I had like a didgeridoo. <laughs> There's, it's a long story, but um, anyways, so I had my, I had my didgeridoo and that literally like, 
I just really, I really needed that. And I would sit on this mound of dirt and all of these, there weren't weeds. It was almost like wheat, but it wasn't wheat. It was like these tall grasses that were brown and somehow growing. I would just bake on the sun and just, I needed that. It was so grounding. That was my temple. That was my church. That was how I connected to the divine. I wasn't all the extra shit, truthfully. So the next thing that we have here is exactly this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm not making this up. Can you believe that? Spirit guardian of winter retreat. Can you believe that? It's like those moments when I can, but I can't. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's this little cabin in this little crystal ball. What are those things called? Oh, snow globe. It's a little cabin and it's like snow globe. So it's something that really is like protecting you from all the extra, extra. Something about going into that little space and winter too is one of those times where it's a season of silence. It's a season of stillness. It's a season of noiselessness and being dormant and having discernment because not everything and not everyone is worth your energy or your time. Nothing against them, but it's actually, a, it defiles your humanness to be too openly available and accessible to all the things. King of Cups reversed. With this card, I want to say that spirit immediately has this message of, I see you. Spirit wants to comfort you and say, I see you. I see into your heart. I see into your desires. I see into what you may need right now. And I'm going to comfort you. And I'm going to give that to you. Nine of Cups. My intention is to give you what you need. That is to comfort you. My intention is to comfort you in that. Page of Swords, Four of Cups. There are certain things that you're going to be turning your back towards for a temporary moment, a brief moment, simply because you are going to want and desire extra protection during this time and because your discernment is telling you to kind of fall off the radar for a little bit and that is the truth page of swords spirit wants to comfort you and say if you do need that extra time which it looks like you do your cup is going to be filled and we are going to protect all of your assets we're going to protect all that is sacred and anything that falls away from you during this time, it will actually be okay. Because it was faulty anyways, you know? Some of you guys are like, well, Jess, I can't walk away from my career, my job. And somehow this path, I don't know why I'm getting this path. Somehow spirit is along. If you walk along this path, you will find a way. I also just heard very clearly that what you expect of this path is not what you are going to get. So let's say this is, let's say you go back to the original path that you used to walk back in the day and you expect that, oh, there used to be a lake on this side, so I'm going to see that lake. There's something about the, ter the terrain, the terrain, the terrain, the ground that has changed because it's been years or time has passed. So apply that message to your life right now and your life path. There's something that you're expecting to happen or you're expecting to see, but it has evolved in some way. It is shapeshift in some way as na all natural things do. So if you're expecting to, for your life or your feelings or your body to remain one way all the time, it's not natural. That's not natural. So spirit is saying that from where you stand right now, I see you, I comfort you, and I give you what you need. Look at that, Knight of Wands and Four of Wands. This is going to give you your spark back. It's going to protect your spark. It's going to keep you creative. It's gonna keep you innovative. Some of you guys have, I, don't, I just heard annoyance, the word annoyance. Some of you guys have been very annoyed and irritable 
and triggered easily like things just get to you when before you never used to be kind of bothered things would kind of maybe roll off your back or maybe you're a person where things have always bothered you or sorry or nothing oh yeah things have always bothered you spirit is going to get you to a place and wants to comfort you that you're actually not going to be bothered by things There's going to be something that enters into your life in the near future that helps you to be at peace with a lot of things. So you're not trying to force anything to happen in whatever way that looks like for you. Have peace with that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. That is your message. Um, I'm nearing a very close place in my life where I will be opening for readings but don't get too excited because it'll be very, I'm actually pretty balanced lately. So, um, and I'm going to work to maintain that. So yeah, um, I'll keep you guys notified, but if you want, just go ahead and head over to the and sign up for the newsletter because then I'll announce when the readings are open and available then. Um, it'll probably be in a few months from now for the most part. I, I do have a few clients like private clients that are on my books. But outside of that, I'll open to, to more clients. <clears throat> Until then, also, if you need me, you can find me at Bahati Life Apothecary, working my magic per usual. That's at BahatiLife.com. Until then, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And thank you to Spirit for delivering this message. And I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.